What's up guys? How are you doing? Today I want to share a quick little story about um, a revelation I had when I went to the gym in glasses for the first time. So what happened was I ran out of contacts and so for a few days I had to just wear my glasses as I waited for some new contacts to ship in. And this is not a story about me being self-conscious in my glasses. I love my glasses and I wear them all the time. But this is more about the experience of running and exercising blind because I hate to run in glasses. It jumps and it fogs up and my eyesight is pretty bad so it's a negative 4.5 or 450 um, I really can't see anything everything's blurry except for whatever's like this close to my face anyway what I noticed as I was running on the treadmill with a blurry world around me I felt different I felt more like in the zone of myself so normally as I'm running I'm listening to music and I'm fully aware of everything around me and I guess I kind of drift off my eyes will like look at the TVs and see what other people are doing um, this time I noticed that I just got so into my run I got so into my music and I was like dancing and singing if you can see me at the gym I'm the crazy girl with the headphones blasting and I'm like lip-syncing and doing dance moves as I'm running because I'm having so much fun um, so that was me. I felt like I could turn me on because the world was like turned down. So everything was muted and I really didn't care about how I looked because I couldn't see other people's faces. I couldn't see anything really in the world and I felt like I was in my own zone. So that was kind of like an aha moment that I had as I was running. I was just able to express myself more freely because I was not aware of what was around me. So actually the first video I made for Lavender was how to stop caring about what other people think of you. And I still think that's such an important topic. That's like a foundation on how to be yourself, how to be original and how to express your true self in this world. You really have to stop caring about what other people think of you to be able to turn your inner self on. So for me, I noticed that when I can't see people around me, when I can't feel the real world around me, then I'm able to tap into my true self and just express myself in a bigger way. I notice this when I perform. So when I'm singing on stage, I always would rather perform in front of thousands of people, in front of a huge audience, than in a small intimate group of like my closest family and friends. And that comes from experience because when you perform on a big stage in front of a lot of people, the lights are shining on you and you cannot see any faces. And even if you do see some people, like you can't see their facial expressions and so that gives you just kind of the freedom to open up, be yourself, immerse yourself into the song and the performance because you can't care about what other people are feeling. You can't see it, you're not aware of it. But when you're in an intimate setting where with people you know, then that just makes me so much more nervous because I can see their face, I know what they're thinking, or I'm just scared of showing my true self because I'm so aware of all these people and all these eyeballs looking at me. And that's the same thing with YouTube. I feel like I can be more of myself through this video because I'm really just looking at a camera at home. I'm super comfortable here. I can never speak this way to like my close friends, which is really weird to say, but I, I guess that's the introvert side of me where when I'm out with people, I'm the kind of person that I kind of filter myself or I shift a little bit of who I am depending on who I'm with. So to be able to tune everything out and blur the world out, I realized that's how I can tap into my true self and kind of turn myself up. Also to continue my story of me at the gym on the treadmill blind, I was dancing and having so much fun in my zone that I my hand got caught between my earphone wire and my phone and I kind of like knocked it and knocked my phone onto the floor, and which is super stupid and super embarrassing because I'm sure it made a very loud noise, but I just wasn't aware of it. So something like that, if I was aware of the world, I had my contacts or glasses on, I would have been a little bit embarrassed. But because everything was so blurry and I just 
didn't care. I was like, well, okay. And I picked up my phone, plugged it back in, and kept going. And I just really cared less because I could not see anything around me. I also did another stupid thing as I was working out after running. I was doing some squats in the mirror room and I was squatting and on one of them, I kind of like lost balance and I almost fell on my butt. And normally I would be a little embarrassed because people are in the room and they can see me, but since I was blind, I really couldn't see anyone's facial expression. So I was like, Mwah, whatever, keep going. So I feel like that was like a mini lesson for me, a mini revelation to just live like that, even when I'm wearing contacts and glasses because Yes, there's a world happening around me, but if you can just learn to tune that world down and not care as much about what everyone's thinking or what people are looking at you, then you can just be more free to be yourself. In the end, it really doesn't matter and it's all in your head. I'm planning to make an Ask Me Anything video soon, so if you guys have any questions for me, anything whatsoever, feel free to tweet me at Lavendaire and I will pick my favorite questions and answer them in an upcoming video. Also, I notice a lot of people are finding me on Instagram. I'm trying to be better at Instagram. I'm not that great. I treated it as my personal account just to post my life and stuff, but I think now I have to kind of be more on point with Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me there, at Lavendaire, I'm gonna try to just be more active. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this week. Thank you so much, guys. Love you. See you soon.